Hi everyone. So now we will learn that how to use use effect hook in functional component whenever our states or props will update it. Uh, as we know, uh, in functional component we cannot directly use lifecycle methods. We have to use use effect hook, right? And in last part, I told you that how to use use effect hook whenever our uh, component is mounting or re-rendering and all. And now we will learn that how we can use use effect hook whenever our states or props are actually updated right so let's start with the points first of all we will learn that how to define state and button i know that you already know about that but again i'm just going step by step so after that we will use or you can say that we, we will call use effect hook whenever any specific state will be updated let's say you have five states and you want to call use effect only on whenever your one or two state is updating right rest states uh, on, on rest states you don't, you don't want to call use effect right same with the props also so let's say you have five props or six props but you want to call use effect hook only on one or two props right and after that uh, i'll tell you that how to use use effect hook as component did update if you are not aware about what is component did update then don't worry i'll tell you whenever we'll just uh, jump on that point so now Let's jump on the code. This is our output screen or you can see that emulator and this is our app.js file. I'm just hiding this, uh, you can see that sidebar so that uh, we have more space to work. And first of all, I am just defining a button and that it could be title like and we have to import it also, right? So let me import it button and title is let's say update counter perfect we can do that no issue and now let's say we have a state const count and set count and by default value of this state is uh, let's say zero we can say that right and with a similar way we have data also right so we have the data and uh, just want to put their set data and by default value of this is 100 perfectly fine now what i'm going to do there i am just printing these count and data there so let me just print there uh, count and if you want then you can add color also there color let's say green similar for data and uh, let me change this data again data and let's use jsx for data state perfect and here you can see that uh, counter and data is visible good okay so next thing what we want to do so let's say we have one button there right and i have one more button and uh, on on press of first button second button should be update data right so what i'm going to do there uh data or you can simply just make a callback function set count and let's just update the value one by one count plus one and same thing we can do with data also so you are might be thinking like what i'm going to do there so just wait for a minute we are about to just get the output whatever we want to get right so data is there perfect we have two states so whenever i'm just clicking on a first one our counter is basically updating on a second click data is updating no data is not updating uh, let me put there set data let me reload it and so on a first button clicks counter is updating and second button data is updating perfectly fine so now i want to use a use effect and uh, i want to use a life cycle method use effect right whenever our data will update not on state right i just want to use this use effect only data will update right but so let's say i'm just putting there 
data is updated or something i just put mention that right so first thing it will call initial time right that is perfectly fine there is a no issue because we did not add any parameter and all right so now if i'm just updating data here you can see that data is updated this is perfectly fine but if i am just putting a, i'm just pressing the update counter this data is still this use effect is still calling right but i don't want that i want that this use effect should only call whenever i'm just updating data for that what you can do you can just simply put there data as a parameter inside the array as a second parameter as a inside the array so let's say you want to call it on uh, only on mounting time you don't want to call it any any state any props that you can just simply put it blank and if you will just try to update counter or data it will not call in right and if you will just uh, refresh it here you can see that data is updated this is perfectly fine and if you just put their data it will call call only on initial time and only on the uh data state it will not call whenever our uh, counter state will update let me show you initially it will call this is the by default functionality i cannot do with that so but uh, whenever we will update the data here you can see that this is calling but as i told you because we just passed their data state if i am just clicking on the counter this will not uh, this use effect is not calling that we actually want right and now let's say you want to just define one more use effect that will call only on the counter right count then you will find that uh if you just click on the counter second one will only call data is updating and you will just click on the second one data it will call the data a uh, use effect right first use effect okay so let's say you have three state and you want to call first use effect on two state like say your state name is name or age or something then you can just simply simply use comma separated uh, things and this use effect will call on the old state whichever whichever provided in that uh, array all right so with that way what we learned till now we learned that uh, uh, how to use use effect hook only for specific states but what about props let's say you have uh, more than one props and you want to again doing the same thing you want to call use effect only with the single or only with the limited props then how you can do that so to show that what i'm going to do i am just uh, commenting it out for a moment and i'm just commenting out these text also and now i am creating a const user component right and here we go and to be a quick return i am just copying this one so that i can save time like this i don't need this first these two buttons i need these uh you can see that uh, text right so how to use this uh, component now this is really simple we already done it many time and here we got counter and data perfect so now the first thing is we have to pass the props to that uh, users right so that we can just apply the use effect inside it on the base of props so i am just putting their info and there i am passing uh count as well as data state we can do that this is possible and now let's print the props like what we are getting in the props let's check first with the console dot one one props save and here you can see that we are getting counter zero data is 100 so if we i will just update them you can see that we are getting the updated data perfectly fine so we have the props dot uh, info dot count right so i can just simply use this uh, object for counter and for data i need to use props dot info dot data and here we can see that they are printing 
perfect no issue so now the thing is i just want to use a use effect there use effect and guys don't forget to import it from uh, react otherwise it will not work right okay so let me just create a console dot one call when data probes will update right but initially if i am just updating any of the probes this is calling then we have to just provide some uh, uh, you can say that some condition over there right because this is calling on the state as well as in uh, a counter as well as on data so you can simply use their array as i told you if this is the blank it will call only on mounting time so let me show you because we just put their blank array so it will not call in the case of state and probes anyone and if i just put their data that means it will call whenever our data probes will update it data is not there perfectly fine because we have to use their props dot data dot props dot info dot data right and uh, let me just update it still i am just updating the counter so there is a no console and if i am just clicking on the data here you can see that we got the console there right and for simplicity you can just say that let data is props dot info dot data this will still work there as well as there and same for you can do that with state and similarly if you want to call another use effect for uh, let's say counter then you can say that call when count profile update so if you will just uh, update the counter now you can see that call when count props that means count props is updated that time this use effect is calling and it's vice versa whenever we are updating the data first use effect is calling all right so that's all for this part if you still have any kind of confusion uh, you can ask me in the comment box and in next part we will learn that how to use use effect for component did unmount ah sorry for component will unmount right so thank you so much and if uh, you did not st still you did not uh, subscribe my channel please subscribe provide your feedback in comment section and please like this video also thank you guys